Today, as we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord, we hear from the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold, frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. Happy Feast of the Epiphany to all of you. It's that time when we celebrate the Magi arriving at the home of Jesus, bearing gifts. That's why we as Catholics sometimes write above our doors in chalk, 20 plus C plus M plus B plus 21, the year that we're in and the initials of the three Magi. As we celebrate this feast in the Christmas season, I'm reminded of a poem by Howard Thurman a 20th century American author, theologian, and civil rights leader. When the star of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release prisoners, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people, to make music in the heart. On this Feast of the Epiphany, I give thanks for the many ways that you as Johnnies and Bennies continue to do these things, to be Christ's light here in our midst. And as you celebrate this Feast of the Epiphany at your homes, I pray that the God of heaven and earth May fill your homes with the light of Christ in the ways you show kindness to each other, hospitality to guests, and abundant care for every stranger. That's what gives me hope this Christmas season, is your ability to be a people of light and peace. You continue the work of Christmas to bring peace among people, to make music in the heart. God bless you on this epiphany.